I'm uh, Louis Vallejo. I'm the Facilities, Maintenance, Operations, and Transportation Director for the Greenfield Union School District of about 2,600 students and growing. Uh, we have four schools, uh, the Vista Verde Middle School that we're in here. Uh, we have the Oak Avenue School nearby. Uh, we have the uh, Mary Chapa and El Camino Real Academies. Uh, and uh, the latest school, the newest school we have is the Cesar Chavez School. I had a large room full of a variety of lamps that we were changing, it seemed like, on a daily basis. Uh, older fixtures, uh, high output lamps, high output ballasts, a lot of heat generation, and every day we had a lamp out somewhere in the district that we'd have to replace. The day that PG&E came in and said, hey, we have a new program, I was less skeptical, but still pretty skeptical when it came to lighting retrofits, thinking, yes, okay, we're going to have to put up a lot of money up front, but it didn't happen that way. Uh, our uh, PG&E representative said, we'll take care of it up front. After my first meeting with Lewis, I obviously could see his skepticism. Uh, so the MBAG representative and I were able to show him an actual proposal of this district office, which showed a very, very low cost retrofit of their lighting. So that was his instant spark to be able to start with the program and looking at the rest of the school district. Once I entered the room and uh, met Alicia, uh, it was a, uh, a warm surprise to find out that they were offering this program at no cost to us. That was the first words out of her mouth, so it immediately got my attention. Greenfield Union was able to utilize our local government partnership and BAGS funding. Um, and basically the way the program works is they offer low-cost, no-cost measures um, to help jumpstart energy efficiency. We had HVAC services done going through each system in uh, relocatable buildings, the, the wall-mounted units to roof-mounted units in these buildings, uh, where they evaluated uh, and serviced, uh, recharged, uh, changed the filters. And then in our freezers and refrigeration, uh, we went to uh, uh, replace all the curtains and strip curtains. Now all of our freezers, walk-in refrigerators and walk-in freezers, drive-in freezers have strip curtains, which immediately, I mean, just based on the fact that you don't feel the cold coming out the doorway, you know you're saving energy. The uh, occupancy sensors that were part of the upgrade, the retrofit project, uh, we included in a number of areas uh, pretty much all of our warehousing, our gymnasium, uh, any common spaces uh, where before the lights would be flipped on in the morning and left on all day. Uh, now uh, we enjoy the occupancy sensor so it's only on demand. The uh, lighting in the gym, uh, besides the occupancy sensors, uh, we've included uh, uh, upgrade with induction lighting. The light in itself the quality and the, 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 the sensitivity to the eye has improved and the gym looks bigger and more open. The excitement about this project uh, to me has been that it's been a human level project. All of this that we do in energy management and lighting retrofits or HVAC improvements or occupancy sensors, it all has to be a value to the classroom. So now with these new high frequency TA lamps and their associated ballasts, we have half the lamps, stunning, and we have now over 50 candle power at the desktop right now. We have an estimated annual savings of 700,000 kilowatt hours. That's stunning. I don't know how else to say it. This project would have never happened if it hadn't have been for the upfront dollars that PG&E provided. It's the value in the classroom. It's the students' environment that is so important to us. And having PG&E come in as a partner to help us uh, make this happen, um, it's, uh, it's an emotional experience for me. So thank you, PG&E.